Some of you might be saying, gee, Bill, how many tubas do you own? Well, I've sold some, which has allowed me to acquire some different ones. And I've reviewed a couple, so I really don't own that many. Uh, but the ones that I currently have that I'm keeping, uh, they are outstanding. And the one in this case is an absolute keeper. And it is also kind of like a unicorn in that it's rare. Uh, and then when you see it, you'll understand uh, it's particularly unique. Uh, so let's uh, check it out and see what you think. I'm hoping you can see, see that name on there? See the spelling? Some of you will know what that means and give away the vintage of this instrument. Also, uh, special thanks to Hugh for the very nice bag bearing the uh, newer company logo. All right, let's open it. Oh, ah, ooh. Yes, boys and girls, that's a vintage Miraphone 186 in the key of C. This 186 was produced by Miraphone in 1969. It's made of hand hammered sheet brass. It was originally lacquered and had the fifth valve operated by the left hand. It was restored and made new by Joe Selmansberger at Mid-South Music. It now sports a brushed silver finish and a bright silver finish inside the bell. Joe also turned the fifth valve into a right thumb operation with modern Miraphone linkage. He also shortened the fifth valve slide to a flat hole step and added a water key to the fifth valve slide. You'll notice that there are Deutsche Marks from the period on the paddles. Joe also kept the S-arms in the linkage. To me, they have that classic look, and they just work well. They work as well as anything else when properly maintained. All five valves are vented, and because of that sheet brass, it's just very lightweight and easy to play. One of the challenges here in our area is tarnish and even though this horn was completely tarnish free when I picked it up uh, once I got it here uh, our humidity here is incredibly high uh, year-round so having a satin silver instrument is a bit of a challenge to keep tarnish free but I have some uh, uh, chemicals to uh, take care of that and keep it looking just as beautiful as when I picked it up now, Miraphone became famous because of their incredibly resonant sound, easy playability, superb intonation, and fine craftsmanship. And this horn is one of those examples that uh, helped Miraphone set the standard. And they do set the standard with the 186 B flat and C, and they have for decades. And they continue to improve and raise the bar higher and higher with all the models they sell. And, uh, you know, if you had to buy a tuba without being able to test it first, I'd recommend a Miraphone because of the company's unmatched consistency.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 